And tonight, some restaurants are serving the last guests in their dining rooms for the foreseeable future, forced to switch to takeout or outdoor dining when the Orange Zone restrictions go into effect just six hours from now. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan, he joins us live in Armory Square. A lot of restaurants and bars there. Andrew, what a tough night for these businesses. Christy, some business owners, some restaurant employees didn't even want to do an interview with us because of how upset they are. Not so much that they're against these restrictions, but more so that their pride and joy businesses are taking another significant hit after what has been a brutal year for them. Here at Possibilities, the final customers maybe for the foreseeable future are entering the restaurant as it opens up for its dinner hours. The manager here makes it clear that they are supportive of anything ordered by health experts or the government to keep people safe. But the staff here is understandably bummed that they can only serve their customers outside or to go starting tomorrow. After pulling off a very safe operation, they feel inside when the dining room reopened in July. I think it's exhausting uh, for service workers anywhere. A restaurant, you know, there's a lot of frontline workers in stores and, you know, in retail. And uh, it's, been, it's been emotionally exhausting. Uh, I think especially with the holidays coming up, that definitely adds to the fatigue a little bit. Um, you know, it's, it's uh, easier for us to make a transition because, again, we're confident with what that transition looks like. It's easy, he says, for possibilities to make the transition because they did have a very successful to-go curbside operation earlier this year. But restaurants like Blarney Stone on Tipperary Hill, known for their burgers, they're just closing altogether, perhaps deciding that the to-go option just didn't make them enough money. Here at Possibilities, though, you see the chairs stacked up. Outdoor dining is still allowed, but right now it doesn't look like it's warm enough for them to do it. There's no heaters. They're still working on all of the logistics to be able to serve customers outside, which could add to their option for some cash flow here in the next few weeks. But I think what everyone's hoping, Christy, is that everyone in the community gets their act together so the orange zone restrictions can go away sooner rather than later.